quick one here. Um, quite often in combat, you'll have amounts of damage mitigated or retroactively changed because a player remembers something, and it doesn't happen in a way where you can apply it using the usual, you know, add and reduction tools. Always HP is a module that adds a little toolbar in that gives you a few more controls. So once it's enabled, it creates this little bar. You can keep this where you like on your screen. I tend to keep it hovering down here. Um, when I click on any actor, you'll see that it changes at the bottom to show their name and how much HP they have. So Esmeralda currently has 29 HP. Let's say a player realizes, oh, well, hold on, I forgot to roll the extra d4 damage I have because of the magic oil I've put on my sword. Um, they'd roll a d4 and then normally you'd be going, okay, it was three, let's go into the character, double click into the character sheet, go in, amend the HP. Or depending on what other modules you've got, you might have to click on your double right click, minus four, blah, blah, blah. With this, I can just highlight, I can type four and I can click the down arrow. You can see that hurts the selected character and it reduces the HP by four. Or you know, I could click the up arrow and it increases it. You'll see the HP total changes. You can use this just to instant kill something as well. It's a separate module I've got that's led to the blood splatter here. I'll cover that in another module. So if you have a player who does an environmental kill, let me just um, let me just put Esmeralda back up to where she was. Let's say I had five dire wolves. Do you know what? Let's, let's say it's three, so it fits in the corner better and a player uses some inventive spell casting to say, oh, well, we talked about earlier how we saw all the ceiling floorboards were loose. Um, can I use my whip just to grab that, you know, that roof panel and pull that portion of the ceiling down onto the walls? It's a bit of an environmental kill, isn't it? There's not really a quick sort of way to handle that. But if I highlight all three walls, you see I have multiple three, I could just click the kill button and it applies to all three of them. Saves you going in, zero, next one, zero, next one, zero. It's quite a few situations, normally more plot related where I think I'd use that. If I want to sort of demonstrate, oh look, all these zombies are coming towards you, but then something happens. Or say you do have a lot of zombies around your player, low level zombies or skeletons, and your cleric uses turn on dead and they're all low enough CR where they're destroyed. That's a really quick and handy way to do it in bulk. Um, and the blue heart button, just because I haven't shown you, returns to full health. Really simple little module, very, very useful. That's always HP. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep using it. Leave me a comment, let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you wanna see in the future, and I'll see you next time.